In today's q and I'm going to show you three designs uh, which relate to some of the questions and also I have the stockings out, I have your questions out and um, Bella's waiting <laughs> and uh, so I think we'll get going. Kim Sanders has a question on the Christmas stocking. Your videos of the unicorn stocking have been the high point of my day since my area has been under stay at home since March. Plus, I love your crawl, so it's a joy to watch how you approach each of the motifs and areas. The eye on your unicorn on video 27 is excellent. Would you mind a video demonstrating how to stitch the eye on one of the other stockings you are stitching? Right, well, I actually filmed that yesterday and I'm going to get really close in and show you. So that is in yesterday's video and uh, I'm now thinking that the um, eye on this stag is sadly lacking and I would just pop a little black bead on there, which is what I have done here. And you can just see the light catching the bead. And I always think a little black bead looks great as an eye. And I also need to work on this one, on the Sienna stocking or Claudia. I'm not quite sure what we're calling all these now. Um, they're sort of being named after the children are going to now. I'm, I'm focusing on who's getting what. And um, my designer son, who is quite a big cheese in design, he's actually approved this one. So I think this might have to go to the younger child in Hong Kong. And um, because his older child has this one, but I'm now worried about a fight over the unicorn. So hmm. anyway, so uh, next one, sh shout outs. You re uh, Sarah Lockwood, she's an occupational therapist. You replied to my comment on a recent Instagram post and requested some advice from my professional perspective about sitting comfortably. Please see some tips and pointers attached, which you might like to consider. Um, I also said that Philippa covered the main points comprehensively, but hopefully there's something in this that you might find beneficial. It's so lovely of you to ask. I'm trying to put together a cool design of my own inspired by a picture and I'm rather out of depth. <laughs> no, you're not. You'll be fine. So if I had found your website earlier, I would have gone for one of your kids. Oh, well, never mind. Don't worry about that. Um, Philippa's videos have been very helpful. Um, and not delighted with the linen and delighted with the frame. So that, that she's fine, she's fine. Good, 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 good. As long as you're fine, Sarah. And um, we will do a video on the posture when I have a cameraman or woman. Poor Karen had to do a distancing camera shot yesterday. So that's why I'm focusing really closely on areas I spoke about yesterday on these stockings. So, um, Nancy Lyons. Oh, bless you, my Nancy. We love Nancy. Just love the time I get to spend with you by these videos. Sorry, we, so sorry, we can't be together this year. I do miss you, Richard and Laura, as well. Hugs and kisses. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> sorry, I didn't, it's like almost personal. Anyway, right, okay. So, Adrian Story has written in on an email. Hello from the USA in Virginia. I have never sewn on a button before. I discovered embroidery and I love it so much. I've bought a cheap pattern to learn on and I need advice on how to start with the shading or all the curls and bumps, Adrian. Adrian, you'll never get good quality materials on a cheap design. Honestly, it's a bit like clothing. You're almost better to go to a designer secondhand shop um, and buy something which has good materials than a cheap throwaway thing. You'll never be happy. If you're already unhappy with a cheap kit, please just, you know, put it in the charity shop for somebody else. <laughs> a beginner should not start with cheap materials. So if I go on to what a beginner should start with, I'm not saying that it's because of my design, it's just because I know that I demonstrated this uh, pillow so much, this design so much at the shows because I found that um, doing laden couch work, the combination of laden couch work here, the uh, soft, long and short soft shading and cruel stem and a few French knots, boom, you uh, could make a properly Victorian um, pillow or cushion, as we would say around here. So you can see, and then in the middle, the middle feather, uh, I've put um, lots of different 
very simple laden couch work in the middle and just the French knot. So, you know, that is a really, really, really easy exercising and long and short soft shading. So all these bits here, um, you know, the lines for the first colour are marked on and you'll see that the first colour goes really deep. Anyway, I have stitched probably seven of these um, because it was just such fun. I uh, I don't know. When you're sitting at a show and you've got 20,000 people looking at you, you want something that you can just get on with really, really simply and not have too many colour changes. So this design has been incredibly popular. We keep selling out of this one, which actually I made for a beginner, very beginner workshop. And um, you'll see that on this one, a moth has eaten that or I've forgotten to stitch it. But do you know what? I don't mind. It's fine. It makes it look very genuine. So see you tomorrow.